Before we get into your reading, I'd like to start by thanking everyone who has liked and commented on the videos, as well as subscribed and donated to my channel. I really appreciate it, you guys. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can find all of my contact information, including my email and social media links, as well as links to my music and podcast in the description below this video. Okay, let's get into your reading. What do we have for Libra? Judgment. Libra, judgment has shown up for all of the readings I've done today. So it doesn't surprise me to see it here in your energy as well. Because typically speaking, the zodiacs that I group together to read all have a very similar energy that's weaving through them. But whatever the case, Libra, there's something major going on here. It's your foundation. I feel like this has to do with the astrology. We are coming out of this Mercury retrograde as well. And this one was a doozy. I mean, so much stuff happened during this Mercury retrograde. So much change. So much illumination. It's also an energy of really seeing things from a different perspective, like a higher perspective, a universal vantage point. I feel like a lot of you are coming out of this Mercury retrograde changed. Whether it's big, whether it's small, something's changed. Something's gone. And something new has taken its space. It'll be different for each and every one of you. But if you're feeling something has changed in your life, Libra, maybe just take a, take a time out and really think about how things were a month ago and how they are now. Because I'd bet, Libra, once you really sit down and have a deep think about it, you'll realize that something has been altered. Let's just say that. And I feel it's for the betterment of you. But here we are, Libra. We're in this judgment energy now. You being on the positive side of judgment and all your struggles being on the other side that you're leaving behind. A lot of people are over there suffering now for what they have put you through, for the life they've been living, Libra. There's an energy of purpose here that I feel you're making your way towards. There's an energy of this very powerful driving force behind you, all based off of this rebirthed energy that you're now finding yourself in. There's just this overall energy of awakening, and it's at your foundation, so this could have something to do with the foundational properties of your life. Let's just go ahead and say that. Too many cards. So living situations, friendships, romantic relationships, family dynamics, take it as it fits, but things that were seemingly very important to you have all had some sort of change take place. It's like this energy of this path being cleared for you. You see your way forward now. Emperor, Aries energy at the sacral. There's this Kundalini force behind you. All of this energy and endurance, which is what I was picking up with this judgment before this emperor came out. It's like you have the full force of the divine clearing your path for you, Libra, allowing you to finally step over this threshold. i got a very similar energy in the uh, Leo reading and the Cappy reading, too. What do we have at the solar plexus, please? Very self-empowered energy. And what comes out? The king of wands power is right. There's an energy of leadership here. You're harnessing a lot of courage and taking action over your life, I feel, Libra, after a season or several seasons for most of you of being in this karmic cycle of just feeling stuck like you can't see your way forward. Over the past couple of years, you've been carving out your path. It's been slow moving, but you haven't faltered. You've stayed the course. But the energy I'm picking up here, it's like a a huge leap forward, something big has taken place, allowed you to advance quicker. It's like the momentum is picking up here. In the pre-spread, I got the Knight of Swords, which is a very fast-moving energy, and I'm really seeing that energy in my mind's eye right now. I just feel like there's nothing holding you back, Libra. Whatever this is representing... Too many cards. Whatever this is representing to you... Three of Swords... You need to charge forward in the direction toward this thing. Three of Swords at the heart, Libra. That is your energy. Pick it up on Shadow, Libra. Energy leaving some sort of heartbreak behind. Not allowing whatever this is here to hold you back any longer. Releasing any sort of bitterness or resentment and connection to these past cycles in order to self-empower and move forward and step onto your divinely ordered path. 
What do we have at the throat? Three of Pentacles in reverse. 33. It's an energy of anything being possible now. Because you've cut away from this cycle that you were in. I just heard with these haters. There's this great discipline and this spiritual connection that you're nurturing with the divine. This is what's making all of this possible. It's three of pentacles in reverse. I feel like this is representing this contract that's been completed with this karmic cycle. This cycle of stagnation. The stagnation is over, Libra. You know, I was saying in the Leo reading that if there's something that they had tried many times and failed at, try it again once you're away from the energies that were representative of the karmic cycle that they had graduated on from, right? So once they cross through the threshold, give it another go. This thing that you know is a part of your path, right? I'm picking up a very similar energy here, Libra. There's something you're going after, something you've been kept from for a very long time. For a lot of you, it's some sort of family member who was holding you back. For some of you, it's going to be a father. Pick up a strong masculine figure. It could be a very masculine female as well. But I am getting fire energy here. Somebody that was really trying to, I just heard, write your personal biography. That's a weird idea, right? Somebody who think they know what's best for you, think they know what you should and shouldn't be doing or who you should and shouldn't be, and deciding that they're the one who is all-knowing and should be writing your personal biography. That's a concept. Third eye energy, please. Seven of cups. Wow. Overcoming the illusion. Being restored back to your... It's an energy of restoration. The illusion coming to an end. The illusion that... This energy or these energies had your highest good in mind. There really is an energy here of defeating the matrix in your life, Libra, in regards to what I'm picking up here. Overcoming the illusion is really what it comes down to. And see how he's holding something in his hand, right? I feel like that represents this thing. This thing that you're meant to be going after. This is God-given. This is all connected to your purpose. Anybody who keeps you off path is the enemy and they will be judged in due time. Make no mistake of that, Libra, but you are the one who calls the shots. And you do this, Libra, by simply empowering and not allowing this energy to stand in your way any longer. You need to, re you need to regain your power or find it for the first time. This clears the path for you. This exits you from the karmic cycle. This is what brings in judgment for not only you being on the right side of judgment, but for them as well. They are now sentenced to their karma for their wicked deeds, actions, and behavior towards a chosen individual that is supposed to be functioning inside this energy of purpose. A lot of lies, Libra. A lot of illusions have been cast out before you to keep you Ensnared is what I just heard. Inside this It's like a I'm getting eight of swords energy here off of this, which is like a self imposed mental imprisonment. Seven of Cups can lead to an eight of swords kind of energy. But this is you dissolving the illusion now at your third eye, how you perceive your reality. Everything's changed. You don't see anything the same anymore person place thing everything looks different to you now it's because the filter has been ripped down the veil has disintegrated libra temperance sag energy at the crown and now here you are on path exactly what i've been picking up in this entire reading heading towards this energy of purpose balanced healing leaving the chaos in the past your path has been cleared for you right there Exactly like I said. Heading towards the pinnacle of success. See those peaks back there? You're being divinely guided, directed, shown exactly how you need to move here. Shown exactly what you need to do. 
to remove yourself from the cycle and get on path, Libra. You're all going to be on different parts of this timeline here. What do we have at the foundation from the Kotero? Let's see what demons are trying to keep Libra's root chakra blocked, please. Oh, Page of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Energy, Bootis. Whenever I get this, it reminds me of the Yor it reminds me of the Euroboro snake, the snake devouring its own tail. But here you've unraveled the snake. You've exited the cycle, the matrix, the karmic cycle has ended. And now the snake, I just heard the snake is going to go back and devour those individuals. It's just representative of the energy, their own energy being sent back to them, right? They wanted to keep you stuck inside a loop. Well, that's naturally what they have to endure now. They must receive karma that equates to the pain and suffering they put you through, plus interest. Page of Swords, there's an energy of a lot of gossip, a lot of, oh, this is the, this is the spy of the tarot. A lot of eyes on you right now, Libra, watching your advancement. There's a lot of fear in the air because of this. I just heard, you mean to tell me this was the plan the entire time? I feel like that's how you feel. Like you see the truth and it's so diabolical and it's so mind-blowing. You're like, I can't believe it. It's like I've been, it's that Truman Show kind of energy. It's like it was all a plan. It's crazy when you wake up to these cycles because that's really how you feel. You feel like you're waking up to a world that was constructed all around you to keep you out of this energy of purpose. Because of the threatening nature of you standing in your power, because of the immense change, the hope, and the inspiration that you bring to those around you, or the collective, depending on what it is you do when you're functioning inside your purpose, whether it's globally or locally, it has a healing effect on the collective at large. There is a trickle-down effect happening. Strength, Vine, Leo, Energy. This is an energy that wanted you to doubt yourself. Wanted you to live in fear. Suppress the urge to move in this direction of purpose. Suppress the urge to go after. This golden opportunity, this golden idea, this God-given gift that you have right in the palm of your hand. What do we have at the solar plexus? Two of Pentacles, Ammon. This is an energy of disorder. A lot of instability, financial problems for some of you. Just an overall energy of disorganization. This is what this energy brought into your life, Libra. It's like they were always trying to deplete you of your energy. What do we have at the heart, please? Vepar, Eight of Cups, malviolent behavior, Pisces energy, energy of depression and feeling hopeless and just drifting aimlessly, walking away from this energy of purpose, living in denial of the truth, not accepting the truth, right? That's where they wanted, that's where they wanted you. They wanted you living in the illusion, the truth staring you in the face, but the illusion being so strong that you refuse to accept it. I've come across many people who have said that they'd rather just live in the matrix, live in the illusion, live the lie, than wake up to the truth because they don't want to go through the pain of spiritual awakening. See, it's a violent process. It's, it's not easy. But once you're on the other side of that awakening, that ascension, there, you'll realize there's just no other way. And the life you live is so enriched and so abundant and surrounded with truth and purpose. It's worth the spiritual boot camp you have to go through to get there. You understand this, Libra. You've been putting in the work or you're willing to put in the work. Those people who say that they'd rather stay asleep, they've sold out to the matrix, to the devil. It's really what it comes down to. They've sold their soul. They'd rather just live the lie than wake up and live in their truth, in their purpose. And then we have the emperor again, Aries energy, Michael. So we have the emperor here twice, political authority. Libra, your connection with the divine is so incredibly powerful right now. This is how 
you're getting through all this. You're just being divinely guided through this. I feel like there's some days you wake up and you're like, oh my God, I can't believe this is taking place. Or it's like you overcome so much in your life. You get on the other side of it and you look back and you're like, wow, did that even happen? How did I get here? How did I get through that? I know that feeling. I feel that way all the time. I stop myself and I pinch myself. Like, how did I even get here? And then it's in that moment that I realize, oh God, the divine, my spirit guides got me here. It's like they pick you up and they drop you on a new timeline. The process in between starts to feel like a fading memory because you're on the other timeline now. It's almost like it never happened. It's like you just wake up in a new life. This is what I'm getting here, Libra. What do we have at the throat, please? Six of Swords, Aquarius Energy, Annuel. The Gentle God. Perception of unity. Protects against accidents heals the sick. Now after all this stagnation, feeling like you couldn't move, one thing after another, your passage forward is finally cleared for you. Some of you are relocating, some of you are traveling, but there is some sort of transition taking place beyond this painful cycle. This is your rite of passage, Libra. The contract has been closed out, three of pentacles. You realize now you had to go through the valley of darkness to get to your purpose because it's the wisdom we gain running those cycles it's what it's all about we become the keeper of something so valuable spiritually speaking that we can now impart upon other people to help uplift and heal the collective this is this is what it's about libra <sighs> and look who decided to show up to the party libra the devil samuel the severity of god Seduction and downfall communicates with the dead, teaches the occult and magic, and there he is, shuffling off out of your life because you've pinpointed where this energy has been originating from, understanding that the devil created these illusions in your life. The devil is sitting shotgun controlling the matrix. What do we have for the crown to close this out for Libra? Eight of Wands. And there's that fast-moving energy that I was feeling towards the beginning of the reading. I was seeing that Knight of Swords in my mind's eye. Eight of Wands, Knight of Swords, Chariot. These are three of the fastest-moving energies. But there is an energy here now of something picking up the pace. Libra, just like I was talking about, you're starting to make bigger leaps forward. You're making more progress. More ground is being covered. Something like this. Eight of Wands, Vehuel, Sag Energy, the great and exalted God. Grandeur makes one passionate toward God. And this is all happening, Libra, because of your connection with God and the divine. It's very deep and beautiful is what I heard. And really all it comes down to is you remembering what you came here to do or enough of it, Libra, to get yourself on path and to get moving in the direction of your north node. Libra, this is the energy that's available to you depending on where you are on this timeline should you choose to accept. I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you would like a personal reading, all of my contact details can be found in the description below this video. And thank you for your donations, Libra. Take care.